Today we're working on the 2013 GMC Sierra. All right, so today we're changing out the door speakers in the 2013 GMC Sierra 1500. It helps to have a few tools ready. I'll post the links in the description. So the first step is to remove this panel here. You basically just want to pry that away. Just clip-ins. Okay, so the next step is remove the screw cover from behind the door handle. So that's going to be right behind here. And this is a little tricky to get into. But you can see it pops right out and that's why it helps to have plastic tools. You know, if you had a screwdriver, you're going to you're going to get behind there and you're going to scratch it up. There's two 10 millimeter bolts or screws behind there. So we're going to remove those. Alright, so there's your two 10 millimeter bolts. Obviously you want to put them somewhere where you're not going to forget about them or misplace them. Okay, so the next step is the door lock handle. And this you probably will need a screwdriver for. Let's zoom in here. So here you'll either need a screwdriver or a small knife. Basically you want to get in there and pry that out. And careful, that's a small piece. So you can see that just pries right out. And then you can just lift this right up. That's what's, uh, this little plastic piece is what's holding that in. It's behind this door handle here. So again, we want to pop the screw cover off. You can see it's another 10 millimeter bolt. Same size as the other ones. Okay, some more hidden screws behind here. So you want to pop that cover off. And be two more 10 millimeter screws there. That handle will come off and you can leave those screws with it just so you know where they go. Now we want to pry this up. That'll just come right up. And you can see everything's push pin connectors. So you have a choice. You can either slide this through like this or just disconnect everything. Okay, so now you want to start to pry around the outside of the door. I did this to save a little time on the video, but these clips are pretty hard, so you gotta put a little pressure there. You want to start going around the side, the bottom, and you're gonna do the other side. And then you're actually gonna lift this whole unit up. And like I said, you can either slip this through or undo all the clips. So you can do it like that. Um, I don't know if it will slip through on this unit. Okay, so now we're hitting one thing. It's the um, door cable, the door handle cable. And try to film it as best as I can. Okay, so it helps to have a pair of needle nose. There we go. So we flip it upside down, I guess it helps. Okay, so basically you have to squeeze this together. This will pull out and you can slip the cable out. To squeeze these together and then it'll slide through the hole and then you got to disconnect this from the joint that it's in and then you can just slide that right out. And then you can take that door panel off. Alrighty, so after all that, 
we finally have access to the speaker. I had to search for my 7mm. So now this will just pry off. Grab the needle nose. Let's pry that. So there's the old speaker. And uh, now we can start to work on the new one. Okay, so now that you have the speaker out, you can see that this is one whole unit. It's kind of, it's molded in there, it's sealed in there, it's, you know, essentially one piece. And so, with the new speakers, you can't mount this in that. So you need some kind of speaker adapter. You can see, um, these actually came free from Crutchfield, so, uh, you know, this isn't a paid advertisement, but they do send you free stuff. And they also spent, sent the free uh, wiring harness adapter. So I'm just going to be able to clip these right onto the back of the speaker and then plug it right into the factory wire harness so I don't have to cut and splice anything. Okay, so we attached the speaker to the adapter. We plugged in the terminals. You just want to make sure you're plugged in good here. And then we can start the reverse process. So going to put this in here. Okay, so now the fun begins. The reverse order of everything. <laughs> 